it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I have such an awesome project to show you today and I had to jam it in because I barely just finished it. Um, actually, there's still a few finishing touches that I'm waiting for the customer to pick up tomorrow and finalize placement. But this is what we're doing today and look at this. It is so pretty. Look at all the colors and then do you see like how there's a lot of depth and even though it's all just paper and there's nothing going on, there's just a lot of layering going on. So you could see, I mean, I worked really, really hard to get all the layers in. And then the components that you're going to see, I'm going to show you a little one by one. Here's the bow tie. Every piece that is cardstock, which is everything, is layered nothing is flat everything is sitting on top of each other look at this one this one is like everything's kind of lifted you can kind of see that and then happy birthday as well I mean everything just like pops and has that extra oomph right so here's birthday and then here's the one that's gonna go on the balloon and I just realized I lost the reflection. Oh no, I see it over there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna kind of do it differently on this one because I, I wanna work backwards and then show you how everything was done, okay? Um, so this I changed to print and cut once I finalized everything because there was just so many pieces, right? I needed to know what everything looked like, but then, you know, when you use like five different shades and, um, different types of paper for the color gray. Obviously, there's only so many grays that you can choose from from the color selection. So check this out. I mean, this was bananas. I couldn't believe I had to do this, but I had to keep it straight, you know? Like, I had a color code like a legend. So, and then I numbered my paper so I could keep track of, okay, so this color, Mickey, is the paper number two. I mean, look at all the different, so I had at glitter cardstock, silver, dark blue, light blue, and white. Okay, so four different types of glitter cardstock. Then I had regular white cardstock. Then for the silver, I had a light silver metallic. I had a dark, here it is, a darker metallic. I had a gray cardstock, light blue cardstock, matte navy blue cardstock, and then just a regular gray um, or silver that I numbered number eight. So anyway, so you can see this just had so many different elements, but it was like a little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, literally my, my desktop was all these yellow sticky notes that said okay just by color so that I could see where it was used and so like a little component was used here and there because it also went along with this little 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 hat that is so stinking cute right so everything every color made it somewhere on some element so that's kind of what we needed um, this is a little crazy I normally would not do this um, if you follow my videos for my own personal stuff yeah, this is way too many colors, um, but after seeing it in person, I mean, it's definitely nice because, you know, I consolidate when it comes to these off the mat characters when it's just too many colors because it's too many elements. So it just depends on cust if this was a customer order or, um, you know, like how much you want to do. But I, I've got to say, like, if you follow me on Instagram, you have to see the pictures that up close. Everything is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. All right. So we're going to get rid of this legend and I'm not going to save this project because I'm going to cry if I do, then I'll be gone. Um, this is my print and cut. So I'm going to walk you through this. Once you figure out like what you, what you have, um, this is what I did because these are all layers on top of layers, right? But there's no outline like usually with my larger than map. The characters there's always like a black outline of everything this one doesn't have a black outline right everything is is its own individual piece so what i did was i basically took mickey like the the outline of mickey and i welded it together so that i could have one solid piece so when i had one solid piece of course it was gigantic right it was like 20 well i don't know here let me see um We'll piece it together as best as we can, okay? So then I made an outline, 
or it's not really an outline because it was completely covered. So it's like 19 by 19 inches almost. So the reason why you want that is because there's so many pieces. It needs to be taped or glued to something solid. Otherwise, how are you gonna transport it and put it up, right? And then let me show you the back. So then I also put it on a foam board because otherwise it's too hard to transport all these moving pieces and it would be kind of flimsy. So you wanna make sure that you um, you know, piece it together. And then this is very similar to our off the mat projects, which is then you slice it up into pieces that the Cricut can cut, right? Hold on, sorry. Let me put this away before like I break this thing. Okay. <laughs> um, because I wanted to show you all the elements. Okay. So you have that. Um, the other thing is when you make it really big, you need to have things to break up the pieces, right? So like, the silver, if you were looking at it before, it looks like the illusion is that the silver is one gigantic, continuous, welded piece, right? But in fact, it isn't because it had to be broken up by the happy birthday. So there is a slice somewhere over here. You see, there's that slice. But you wouldn't know that there's a slice here because the balloon is covering the slice right here and right here. And then, oopsies, let me put the balloon back. Um, the happy birthday as well, it's covering, well this one I made it, it was, there were a lot of little pieces and I'll show you that later, but I didn't wanna deal with all the little pieces as long as this one welded piece is, um, is under 11 and a half inches, right? And then here, so that broke that up. The Matthew broke up the gigantic face, right? Which we needed but it gives you the illusion that it runs all the way through, okay? So there's that. Then down here, we didn't really need it because this piece, um, this piece was 12.6 by 5.6, but if I rotate this, it's 10.6 by 9.38. So I did not need to slice this up anymore. Where I needed it was really from the top part to split this up. So kind of, you know, just think about when you're designing, you can design something really big. I mean, what's funny though, is that, you know, I've done toddler pieces that are completely seamless looking to, to the naked eye. Um, so four feet tall, and I could barely do this at this length. Because of the circles, it's, you know, if I slice it in half, it's still long. Like it's not as high, but it's still as long. So it's like, it didn't, and then I need to slice it some more. So it's like, I needed something, a little something right here. A couple of balloons would have been nice, but unfortunately, you know, this little boy is only one. So I only wanted to do one balloon, but that's kind of like what you need to be thinking of when you're designing these pieces. Okay, so here's all of that. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna, sh I'm, I'm gonna show you some of the elements. Uh, you know, I need to delete some more, otherwise, um, here, let me delete some of these. I'm gonna delete some of these little confetti <laughs> items. I'm gonna delete as much as I, you know, I'm gonna delete this because we don't need this anymore. I'm gonna show you how to do these things. So I'm gonna try to delete as much as possible. Here we go. So it's not bogging down the system, okay? All right, so I think we're good now. So first thing is um, I did buy the gloves because the gloves had the outline that I wanted and so it ended up being like a dollar something on Design Space because I had Cricut access. But, so let me show you where you can go, back. <laughs> go get that. So images, I did Mickey, oops. Mickey gloves. And darn it. Okay, so here's like one of them, but I didn't want that one. Um, are you kidding me right now? All right, let me look up Mickey. Here it is. So it's purchased right here. I like this one. I mean, this one's cool too, but I wanted it for the sign to be like that. Um, so it has an outline, which is nice. So let's bring that in and I'll show you 
you can change the colors. I mean, it's just really cute. So, so you can see there's the outline, right? So I'm gonna lose this, that's where you get that. The bow tie is also from here. Um, and the bow tie wasn't quite as important. Uh, which one did I choose? It looks like none of these. Um, I'm guessing it's this one, but I don't remember it being this one. Oh, it is this one because look at this. It comes, oh no, wait, does it? Is this my bow tie? No, this is my bow tie. Oh yeah, it comes with an extra layer that is not visible. So when you click for it to be visible, you have an outline, which is what I wanted. So when you wanna change the colors, you just click on the item and then you go over here. I mean, look at all the colors. Um, you can just, you know, click on any color once you click on the element, okay? So that's the bow tie. Um, okay, the balloon. This balloon is awesome as well. So when I'm looking for images, I am trying to find things with an outline already because if you know, if you're looking for images in design space, you can't save it and then download it and upload it into Inkscape to create your offset. So if you're choosing a Cricut design space image, um, it already has to have an outline or you're stuck without an outline. So I think when I was looking, I don't remember which one it is, but as you can see, there are a few. Oh, you know what? I would recognize it when I see it because it had a happy face in it. Oh, is it? And it had a reflection. Oh, I think it was, it was this one. Okay, so let's insert it. I may be wrong, but let's look at this bad boy. I think it's this one, okay. So the first thing is look at all these layers. So you can see this one's not even visible, so let's click on it. So you have all these layers, right? So in my actual balloon, oh, it's already over there, so I can't show you. I had my outline was a bright, it was the um, glitter card stock. Then my string, so what's cool is the string is separate from the balloon. So I love that, the string is white. And then the red was a dark blue glitter, which was so pretty. All right, all this other stuff I did not want. So I got rid of the eyes and this is not the same reflection. So I take it back because mine is much smaller, so it must have been a different balloon. Um, but anyway, I didn't want the happy face, so all you do is you go to contour, and you hide all, and there it is. Um, what is this white piece? Oh, this white piece you can delete. Or actually, you could, if you wanted to, get it back. <laughs> And you can ungroup this and let's grab this white piece and you can unlock it and make it, you know, something else. But I think I got this reflection from a different balloon in itself. But anyway, so you can kind of see, and then I wanted the string to go the other way to kind of like balance out the ears for some reason. I thought it was better that way. Um, anyway, so you grab this and you just flip horizontal and there you go, there's your balloon. So it is this balloon, see? And then you twist it a little bit, right? Okay, so that's my balloon. Now, Matthew, happy birthday and one. It's from, it's the Walt Disney um, font from DaFont, so D-A-F-O-N-T uh, dot com. It's a, you know, you can download it for free um, or you can, um, I think you can buy, you know, for the commercial license. Um, to do that, or you can buy the font, so on, on Etsy. So anyway, um, you can try that out, but I did that on Inkscape and then um, I got the outline and I did a double outline and then I brought it into Design Space. So I will, depending 
I may or may not show you that because I've shown you that on so many other ones and I have one specifically on how to do an outline. So I might not do that on this one because I wanna show you how to slice things up. So that is all of the components. So the one, the happy birthday, Matthew, and the word one, all of those you need to do in, in Inkscape. You just type it, obviously, right? Just happy birthday. And when you do happy birthday, I don't do it together. I do happy and then I do birthday separately because I don't know how I want to put happy birthday, right? What if I wanted to put happy birthday, like happy really big and birthday small? Like you want to be able to make those design changes with an outline when you get into design space. And you could only do that if the outline doesn't touch each other, right? So if you wrote happy birthday really close in Inkscape, one of your outlines may connect the two and then that means you can't separate it. So you wanna make sure that happy is by itself, birthday is by itself, so then you can still play around with things. I'll show you what I mean right now. So let's go into upload for a second. I'm gonna bring in this one, I don't even remember. It. Oh, that says happy birthday, okay. So I'm gonna insert it. And let's make this really big so we can see it. Okay, and you see how I wrote happy? Like, and then I hit enter, 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 and then birthday to make sure that these don't overlap each other at all. So let's ungroup it. So when you bring in your outline, for me, I don't like my second and my third um, outlines. I don't like to have anything. Like I wanted one full blank piece. So just go to contour and hide all so you have that piece. And then happy is together, right? So here's happy. Scroll down. Here's the H. Hit the shift key, grab the A, P, P, Y, and weld it. Because you want it to be one big piece, right? Oh, this isn't even the right happy. But it gives you the idea. Okay, so here it is. You go to contour, hide all. And then you can kind of see it's starting to look good, right? And then here, this one, this is all together. You want to ungroup it. And then you can grab this, and I would group this so that it always moves together as one. Um, and actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it because I, I don't want to slow down the system. So when you weld it, it becomes one item as opposed to five items, one, one item for each letter. Okay, so when you have happy like this, this is the other thing I wanna do. I wanna grab all three items, go to align, I wanna center it so it's perfectly centered, then I group it. Because right now, this is not the size, I mean, first of all, it's not even the right font, but just pretend it is. It's not the size that I want it, right? Look how big it is. So when I resize it, I want all three to be resized proportionately. So I wanna group it together. Um, all right, so let's work on this guy. Here's the outline, go to contour, hide all. So that's your background. Okay, let's go get our blues. So hit, grab the first one, shift key, grab all the other pieces. And weld it. Okay, then you have that. And I, you know, again, I it's personal preference, but here's, you know, here's why. Let me grab this and weld it. I feel like sometimes that little piece is distracting, this little piece is distracting. So instead, I prefer for it to look like this. So I'm gonna hide all. I don't know, I feel like it stands out a little bit more. Um, but anyway, so grab the three items, align, center, and then you wanna group it because you want it to move together, right? Okay. Um, was that what I was gonna show you with happy birthday? Okay. <laughs> I'm losing my head today. All right, so these are all the different pieces, right? I'm gonna delete this for now to save us space. This is my guy right here. and. Currently it's cut and print because again, this would have been a bazillion pieces, right? And I was saving it so that I could um, 
I'm gonna duplicate it because I always want one up here so that I can see it, okay? But this one, I'm going to unflatten because it was my drawing so I can unflatten it. So now look at, it just opened up. Each one of these items is its own cut item, right? So, okay. So you have the happy birthday component, right? So I'm gonna put it here. Um, actually, I'm gonna put it maybe something like this. Okay, here's my one. I placed it here. Matthew, let's get rid of all these little, little confetti guys because you can add those later. Um, all right, so I'm gonna show you, the other thing is I forgot. I'm gonna show you how I made Mickey. I basically made him three circles and then I welded it together. Okay, so here's my first one. Um, actually, what I wanna do is, okay, so here's my first one. We know this is the right size, right? This is gonna be my inside guy. Let's just say we like those two. You're gonna grab the two and you wanna align and center it and then you want to slice it. Ah, okay. So what you have is this. So granted, I made mine originally thicker, but let's just pretend, right? Because you kind of get you kind of get what I'm trying to do. <laughs> okay, so we got that one. Let's duplicate it, and then you have this guy and then you wanna duplicate it, and then you gotta make the big guy. Okay, so let's pretend this is what we like, right? So we're gonna grab all three and bring it down here for a second. Oh, did I did delete it already? Okay, hold on. Let me grab this, I'm gonna duplicate it. Okay, then what I did was I grabbed these three guys and I welded it so that it becomes one piece. But when I welded it, I, I don't have the inside pieces, right? So this one, what I should have done was saved my circles when I sliced it earlier, but I did not. So we're gonna recreate it, okay? So I'm gonna show you, just grab another circle and we're gonna slice so that we can have that inside piece, right? Okay, then go to contour. We wanna just get rid of this outer layer. Oh, no, that's not what we want. Contour, we want this layer. Hold on, hide all, show all. I don't think I want this one or this one. Yeah, I want this little piece on the inside, right? Okay, so now, Let's see, what do we want? Oh no, we're okay. So this piece inside, if let's put, you know, let's go on and this is our gray outside. We want, I have a light gray cardstock on the inside, right? So that's gonna be this piece. So this one will be, let's just make it light gray so you can kind of get a feel for what we're doing here. So see, that's gonna be on the inside and then you're gonna have happy birthday, right? Except that this circle is its own thing, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna have two of these. These are your ears. So they go like this and like this, right? But we also need a circle for this one. So let's duplicate the circle there. And we want this one. Okay, so here's our problem. We need this circle to be over this, right? So what you wanna do is, so let's move, let's move this Mickey arranged sent to the back, just so that you can kinda see what we really have, okay? Did it go to the back? It did go to the back, okay. No, it didn't go to the back. What's going on here? Arrange, 
It says it's in the back, but it's not because I should be able to see these lines up here. But anyway, so what you wanna do is you wanna grab this and you wanna slice because we, oh no, you know what, we're okay. Cause that's gonna sit on top. This is gonna sit in the back. Let me see if I can send this to the back, arrange. Yeah, send to the back, perfect. And then send this ear to the back. And then this one. Okay, so now I have all my circle pieces. I have my outer. It's all looking good, right? Okay, so I can um, keep this. This is all good. Let's get rid of this. Don't need that one or this one. <laughs> all right, so let's put this back over here. Oops. And do that. Okay, so there's my pieces, right? Um, Matthew, I'm gonna arrange, send to the front. So you can see all these pieces are good, right? Let's look at this though. This is 20 inches by 20, right? So it's too big. We decided that we're gonna have this. Let me arrange, send to the front. I want this one to kind of I want it to cut into this quite a bit. And then this, this is big too, but I use dark blue glitter cardstock in the back and you can't even see, okay? Then I want this balloon sent to the front. I want this balloon to also cut into the, into the um, circle so that it will be, into pieces I can cut on the Cricut. Cause look, what we're gonna cut on the Cricut is this line right here. And then this, all these are broken up. So it's gonna be good, right? That, and then let's move. Let me grab this and move this out of the way. I'm gonna group this together so that they can move together, okay? And then this is kind of like down here. So, if you think about our Mickey in the back, even though it's gigantic, we were able, we're gonna be able to make it look seamless because look at the border, it's just here to here, and then it's here to here, then it's here to here, 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 and here. These are all pieces that we can cut. We don't even need this bottom half because this is gonna be covering it. Okay, so everything is going to be seamless except for the blue right here, the blue background, but we're gonna slice it like right here. We're not even gonna notice the seam because it's dark blue glitter in the first place. Secondly, um, our white's gonna cover over it, so it's gonna look great. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to start slicing things up. Okay, so let me delete this one. I wanna just delete everything. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. Were you able to see that? here. So I, I always forget where my face is on the, <laughs> on the recording, but the outline, just in case we missed it. Um, this is one piece. It's a short piece. And then this piece and this piece is a short piece. This and this is a short piece. So if you remember before, my original design was this. It changes the piece because now it's this this, this, and this. And let me tell you, I had to make it smaller because that was actually a very long piece and I couldn't cut it with my 12 by 12 cardstock. So I had to make this a little bit smaller. So that's just something to keep in mind that like, you know, you can do tricks. If I had done this design originally and sold it to my customer, I could have made it bigger, but she had wanted it a certain way and um, so I was limited in size and I thought at the time that I was still good but we were running out of time and that's all I could do. So anyway, that's how to make it, you know, like 
a smarter design, okay? Is if I had done something like this or tilted it even if I needed that tilt, but you can kind of see like where you can break things up, okay? So let's assume that you like the way everything is here. What I like to do is I like to grab the whole thing and duplicate and flatten so you always have a copy. So worst case is you can always undo and go back to your copy, okay? So this is your copy. I kind of keep it in the background, okay? So arrange, send to the back, Let's get rid of all our pieces, okay? So we don't need this. I know, I just don't want this to freeze up because there's so many pieces to it. Okay, so there's one. That's our background. Okay, so here's our other piece. So I did not do a full background. My background is just the Mickey face. So we'll talk about that in a, well, I had already shown you how to do it, but um, let's start welding things out or slicing things out, okay? So the first thing is I'm going to go and grab this piece, right? I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna lay it right on top of this. Make sure it's right that you have a good one, okay? And then let's do this balloon next, okay? So this balloon, I'm gonna duplicate. This is the this is the balloon that I'm gonna actually use to cut everything on my Make It page. This one, I'm gonna weld. I just want it for the shape. And I'm gonna bring it and I'm gonna line it up to my print and cut like this. And then I'm gonna grab my balloon and my weld and I'm gonna slice. So this is how you can slice but then you still have everything in its place. So see, I've broken up my little outline to this, right? So now it's not continuous anymore. This I can get rid of, I don't need that. This balloon I also don't need, right? And then this. So this is still my print and cut. I'm gonna put this back. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my next component. Here is what I'm actually gonna cut. I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm just gonna put everything up here when I know I'm done with it. This one, I'm going to weld. Then I'm gonna put it on top of my template. That's what I'm calling it. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my happy birthday, hit my shift key, grab my sliced Mickey, and slice. Okay, so it's gonna give me this, right? And then I don't need, well, yeah, no, I don't need this. What I could do, okay, we can start breaking this. I like this piece, right? So let's duplicate this. Oops, wrong one. Let's duplicate this. So you need to follow this part, okay? Contour. And hide all. What we want is we want this piece and we don't want this top piece. So now what we've done is from the Mickey, we have this piece already out. This piece is eight by 5.85, right? So we can cut that on the Cricut. So on our main piece, we no longer need this piece, right? So we can go to contour and we can say, I don't need that piece anymore. So this is what our, our outline looks like right now, right? Now this piece, what's kind of cool about this piece is we can put this back. Let's see, hold on. Let's, let's break out this, oh, uh, you know, for now, just save this piece for now, okay? Let's move this one back up because what I don't like about this is I don't like this piece here and these little pieces. I would just get rid of this piece because it's so small, I'm not gonna keep track of that. So let's put this back up here exactly where our template is. Let's do Matthew next, right? So here's Matthew. I'm gonna duplicate, oops, I did not wanna weld it. I am not thinking right now, <laughs> let's undo it. Okay. I'm going to do
duplicate and then weld because I want just the overall shape, right? I'm gonna put Matthew down, this one I'm gonna put over here because this is my cut one, although I still need to slice that. So let's say this is right where we want it. We wanna grab Matthew and then we also wanna hit shift and grab our Mickey and slice. So we have this piece, so now it's broken, right? So we've got this piece. Let's get our Matthew. Let's see, do we want that piece? No. Get rid of Matthew. Okay. So this piece, we wanna take out this piece. So let's duplicate this contour. And let's hide all. It's gonna leave us this piece. And this piece is 14.6 by 8.5, but it's okay because when we are going to slice out this part, so that will be a good piece. So now on this, we no longer need this bottom, right? So we're going to go to contour. Don't need you anymore. And let's see what we have. So this is, now we can break off this piece, right? So let's duplicate this and separate contour and we want to hide all let's we want this piece we don't want this piece so we've got this side we've got our bottom that we're still working on right and then we on this one we don't need this piece anymore so we can go to contour we can get rid of this now this piece right here it's 15 by 9.8. It's still a little big. Let's see. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to separate out this piece. Okay, so we're going to duplicate. This is a lot. Oh, I duplicated the wrong piece. This piece. Duplicate. This is a lot of work, but what we're doing is we're making it easier for us to assemble later. Like, we don't want all these pieces, right? So we're going to go to contour. We're going to want, hold on, we want this piece, right? So let's hide all. We want this piece. We don't want this piece. So let's exit out. So now we have this piece. So this is this piece up here. It's nice. It's one piece, right? So we've got that. We've got this. So now on this piece, let's hit contour. We no longer need this piece, right? Now we're left with this jagged piece, right? And it's, you know, it's kind of small, it's okay. So we can put it back with this one. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and make sure that it lines up. Where are you? Okay, here you are. So let's line up this piece properly. And let's see how big this piece is. So if I weld this piece back together, which it doesn't look like it's totally together yet, but it is okay size to cut on the Cricut. And look how much better it would be because if that's grouped together, so let's just pretend this is lined up, right? Weld it so it's one piece. And this is why you want to do that. It's a lot of work, but look at our frame now. Our frame is now like easy. This is one piece, right? It doesn't matter that happy birthday runs through it. It's just what matters is that it's two pieces that you can put back together. And it doesn't matter that happy birthday goes over it. It's going to look seamless and it's going to be easy because it's two pieces instead of the five that it was or whatever. And then this piece, is one, right? This piece is another piece. So it doesn't matter that your, um, or is it down here a little bit? This is where your um, balloon goes through and then we still have this piece, right? This piece is right now is still too long. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab this piece. Oh, okay, it's already together. So let's duplicate that and then weld it because we only want the outline, right? And we wanna put it, oops, whoa, what happened here? 
Let me go get this piece. If it lets me. Come on. Okay, it lets me grab this one. So let's put this one where that is. Okay, so we want that and then we want this bottom piece hit the shift key and grab this and slice so now oh my goodness what is it doing I'm gonna undo that for a second let me see if it gets me back did it slice cut and print no it didn't slice yet so I want this and this piece and I want to slice it okay now it did it so now this piece is 12.7 by 3.9 oh that's the piece we don't need so never mind I take that back this we don't need this we don't need so what we're left with are these two pieces but we can separate that and of course that's going to be within size so here's the art outline so what you want to do is just duplicate and then contour on one of them you're going to have the right side and then on the other one contour you're going to have the left side there you have it so here's technically your outline of mickey right um, and then you have your individual pieces that are within size because these are separate, not all one piece. So the only thing that you have left is Matthew. Um, let's see, on this one, oh, what we do still have is you need to weld this piece together because we need a solid out um, to put all our pieces on top of, right? So you can see I didn't line this up completely because we have little slits in it. So all you do is go to contour. First of all, you don't want it. So if you had it, you need to make sure that they, they were all touching and in the right places, but you can just hide all. So I'm going to show you how to slice that up. All these other pieces are good, right? So that means we no longer need our print and cut, right? Our print and cut was just there for a guide. So we're going to delete that. Oops, we can delete all this stuff back here. And remind, I'm gonna say it out loud. I'm telling you to remind me, which I know you can't, but uh, don't save this one because if I save it, I've lost everything from before. <laughs> okay, so here, this one we're gonna ungroup because we want, we want this. We wanna slice this up because that's too long. So take our square and we wanna slice it right around here, right? Okay, so here's our square, unlock it. Make sure that it fits exactly where you want to. So that looks good to me. Grab these two items and slice. So now our Matthew outline is 10.8 and this one is 9.8. And you're not gonna notice that, that seam at all, okay? And then, oh, I got rid of Matthew. I'm gonna move this back up so you can actually see it. Arrange some to the front. Okay, so here's Matthew back. All right, so all of our pieces are good, except for this one. Now this says it's cut and print. I don't know why. So just go, maybe because I forgot. So do no fill, change it to no fill, and and then you'll have to change it to the right color. But no fill changes it to a cut image. Like you can cut with vinyl, paper, whatever you want. Okay. So I think, do we have everything? Wait. This is, okay. So this is too long. All we need to do is ungroup it. Then each letter is fine. Okay, so we're good there. Let's scroll down and see if we have any other errors. We have this one. We know this one's too big. We need to slice it up. And then the balloon. The balloon is showing cut and print. So go to print and no fill. And that should be fine. Um, this is too big. 
Oh, because it's cut and print. Gosh, I'm losing my head. Just change it to no fill. Because if you remember, cut and print is limited to 6.75 by 8 and a quarter. So that's why it's giving you the warning sign. But from a cut, we just need to be under um, 11, uh, 11.5 or less. Okay, so we have no other issues. We just have this one. So this is back to my, you know, my um, off the mat character where we build our grid of squares. So here's our first square. We're gonna make it 11 by 11 because I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock, which means you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this down, go to my position and just round to the nearest whole number. So 18.056 is 18, 31.3 is 31. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and put this square next to this square and round to the nearest whole number. So 29 and 31. So I have two squares that are totally flush. How this works is this first square is the coordinates are 18 and 31. So it's 18. Your X coordinate is the one going over. So 18 then down to 31. Oh, this one. Here is the beginning of my square. So it's at 18 and my paper is 11 inches long or my square is 11. So 18 plus 11 is 29 and there's 29. So I know that they're flushed, okay? So then you can grab both squares and duplicate. And then you can put it down here and round to the nearest whole number. So 18 and 42. So we have four squares that are completely flush with each other. Now we just need to grab our, where's our Mickey? Here it is. Arrange, send to the front. And I'm just gonna put, you know, Mickey so that I can slice him up now. He's gonna be four big pieces. So we're gonna slice all the way around, one square at a time with the image. So now, instead of it being, you know, 20 some inches, it's 10 by nine, 10 by nine. So I'm gonna move these over. All good, nice, big pieces, easy to put together, right? And then we can get rid of this. And that is it. So let's go to the Make It screen. Um, project is incompatible. Where am I? Where is it incompatible? So let's look. Oh, okay, my Mickey Mouse hand is showing print and cut. So let's change it to no fill so that it is going to cut. Okay, and I know we didn't change the colors, but that's okay. Ah, everything is showing. Okay, hold on. Let me do no fill. It's because I, oh wait, do I still have? Okay, yeah. So all of these, because I, I did print and cut first. That was my mistake. So I hope that's not, this is not confusing to you guys. Okay, now I, oh no, wait, I still have another print and cut. Okay, so now I think I'm good. Let's go to make it. Um, obviously we didn't pick our colors, so it's not about that, but I just wanna show you a few tips and tricks in here. So here's our bow. This is our, our background that no one's gonna see because we're gonna tape it all together so we have a solid Mickey head and then we're gonna put all our layers on top so that you can actually transport this thing. <laughs> um, okay, here are our letters, our balloons. Okay, let's say on this one, you wanna move, you know, you can move things around with, within the canvas like this. Um, you can also, like this one, you can click on it, click the three dots and move object, move it to another page. So let's say we think it can fit on here. I don't know if it can, but okay, it looks like it can. So you can rotate it so it fits on this. So we don't need an extra page, right? Here is our one, one balloon. Um, let's look at this one. Okay, so let's arrange, or yeah, click on the three dots, move object, oops. 
and I want to move it to the other page. Okay, these two you want on the same page. This is the name Matthew. It's the, our back black. Uh, um, it's our back layer, and we sliced it right. So you want it to be on the same piece of paper facing the same way so that you're not going to get a weird reflection. So in this case, I want the Matthew to be on one. And if I can't get everything to fit, I'm going to move this one to another page because I want that to have the same grain on the glitter cardstock. So I want it to be right on top of each other. I'm going to move the one to the other page. <laughs> and it's gonna cut by itself. Okay, here are, okay, the Mickey gloves. They definitely can be on the same, so click on the three dots, move object. I want it on with the other hand, so. I was trying to see, I wonder if it works better like this with the with the thumbs facing each other. Can I get it? Oh. <laughs> so next time, because if you use glitter cardstock like I do, I save these scraps, right? Next time I have a big rectangular piece that's so much easier to use, right? Okay, Let's, that's our little reflection on the balloon. This is the actual gloves. The other one was the outline. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope that was a helpful, ooh, this one, we need to get rid of all those things, right? I'm gonna cancel out of this anyway, so I'm gonna just show you. So there are a couple of things with the balloon. So the balloon, when we want to cut, let's go to contour and get rid of all those little, all those hide all. So we have a full, nice red balloon. All right, so, I hope that was helpful to show you how to like custom design your own and like things to look for. Um, let me know in comments, you know, your feedback was, do you have more questions? Was it ridiculous? Was it hard? <laughs> let me know if you want to see more of things like this. Um, all right. I will see you next time. Bye.